Welcome to Real Estate Radio Live, an informative and engaging podcast discussing everything you need to know about the world of real estate. Your host, Joe Kachera, provides you with insight and guidance on how to buy, sell, finance, and invest in real estate. He also offers real estate tax management strategies, new construction advice, home improvement tips, and much, much more. And now, to guide you around the world of real estate, here's your host and Real Estate Radio Live team leader, Joe Kachera. Welcome in. This is Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live, the podcast series as we continue through the week. Just a reminder, we are with you every single day, Monday through Friday, and for seven years, our objective, our focus has really been the same, and that is to bring you, the consumer, uh, education and information to help you make wise decisions in and around your real estate. We'll continue to do that on a regular basis. If you're in the need of any kind of financing, maybe on a purchase, refinance, or need consultation, we have a great team of people here. We could help you with your financing. In addition to that, remember that we have a great network. Uh, if you're in the need of a realtor, financial planner, tax advice, legal advice, really anything around the real estate spectrum, we have a great network of people here to help. Our focus, is, our goal is always the same to, again, to help educate you so that uh, your real estate transactions go smoothly and you continue to get growth and uh, more information about that. All right, let me invite my guest in. It is Amy Kirsch. She is the Director of Investing, Investor, I should say, Relations for Realty Shares. Good to have you here today, Amy. Thank you so much for having me. I'm happy to be here. Very good. This is a great story, and uh, I, I, we'll, we'll get into it. Uh, Realty Shares, we'll talk a little bit about that. But before we dive into more about the company and a lot of the exciting things that are going on right now at Realty Shares, uh, Amy, why don't you first give us, uh, our listeners, a little uh, background for yourself and then explain your current roles and responsibilities there at uh, Realty Shares. Yes, sure. Realty Shares is a leading online marketplace for real estate investing. And the marketplace is where real estate investors and vetted real estate companies can transact with one another digitally. The company was founded about four years ago. I joined about a year and a half ago in my role as the Director of Investor Services I lead a team of seven. We interact with investors all day long, some of whom are new to real estate, some very experienced real estate investors, uh, walking them through the offerings on the platform and how our process works. In a prior life, I worked in the wealth management industry for over 10 years, working with high net worth individuals and helping them to allocate their finances. So it was a very natural t- transition for me working with a similar investor base in a new way of investing. Very good. Well, why don't, you, why don't we also, I think, just again for the uh, listener's perspective, some people may be very, very familiar, Amy, with this concept, but you had mentioned that it was started about four years ago and you guys have experienced a lot of growth and a lot of exciting things we'll get into on our show today as well. But Maybe if you could take take us through just kind of a, a to explain to a listener maybe that they don't have any idea about this concept, um, explain kind of how it works, what's the purpose of it, and then we could get into some of the details. Absolutely. The way that it works, if you think about traditional real estate investing, you would perhaps have a friend or a family member who was acquiring a property, and then you would have the opportunity to invest a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars and potentially reap the benefits of that investment. What we've done is break open the marketplace so you have access to a wide variety of sponsors from all over the country and made the minimum investment much lower. So it really encourages diversification. You can invest $10,000 in an apartment building in Florida and a retail center in Texas for another $10,000 where you may have needed a half a million dollars to do that previously. So it really changes the way that you're able to access real estate investing. For investors, it's it's really exciting too because of the diversification that it offers. Yeah, I would agree. And then, you know, there's all these different options, of course. We'll get into those. Uh, You mentioned the advantage, I think, is uh, there's such an appetite. I know out here there must be nationwide, i got to believe, but... You know, out here in the Bay Area, um, a majority of our calls, inquiries, correspondences about people, Amy, that are, you know, Joe, how do I get invest? You know, I, I want to get involved in investing in real estate. It's crazy out here, especially in Silicon Valley. You know, it doesn't make any sense. The numbers don't work. And 
Do I go outside of the state and all these different things? This is one of the reasons I think that you guys, uh, your concept, your idea really resonates in that it gives the individual person or group or whatever the ability to look at different investment options and really understand fully what they're investing. And I think that's the other attraction, Amy, is that, you know, a lot of times when we invest in, you know, people will invest in REITs or big conglomerates and are say, hey, put money in this group and we're going to buy, you know, a lot of times it's it's pretty confusing and whether they get good returns or not, that's another story. But isn't one of the attractions, too, that they could literally see it? I mean, um, they understand what's going on. It's really simple the way you guys describe it. And it's pretty straightforward, their investment opportunities. That's exactly right. We we want to empower real estate investors to make decisions based on the data and information we're giving them. It should be efficient, but they should have access as well. Mm-hmm. So I, I think exactly what you're saying. We're we're giving people the the information that they need. Where is it can be a, a, a confusing or a bit of a black hole when you're investing in a REIT. You're not sure what the underlying properties are. You don't really have any selection in the, what those are as well. So you're a bit removed from the selection process. Whereas on our platform, you can look at the, each property individually, see if it makes sense for your portfolio, and if you have a pension for the Bay Area, then. There, there, if there's an opportunity there, you can look at that, whatever makes sense for you. So absolutely, that's, that's a big competitive advantage for us. Great. So more for, we'll, we'll give the website out and information here in a couple of minutes, but some of the things I want to talk a little bit about, the investment strategies, the way in which to invest, which vehicles to use. You know, some people may have just cash available. Some people may leverage money. I want, I know one of the other things that, uh, we're going to want to talk a little bit about is the, the possibility of investing in real estate through retirement accounts. If you could spend a couple minutes giving our listeners a kind of an idea, some, again, some may or may not be, um, understand this concept, but it's, it really opens up some different opportunities for people that may not know how that might work and how they could potentially use um, some of their retirement accounts to participate in some of this. I'm glad you brought that up because not many investors are aware uh, that they are able to use their retirement accounts. If you have the ability to self-direct your IRA funds or 401k, mm-hmm. then you are able to invest in any of the opportunities on the platform. We work with a pretty wide variety of custodians. We have some trusted relationships with a couple of custodians we work with very often, which provide discounted fees. And the, and the nice thing about it is if you have retirement funds are typically longer term capital for people, real estate holds can be longer. So it matches nicely with the objectives of those holdings. And it's a pretty simple process too. We've tried to minimize the amount of paperwork and the typical amount of extra handling that you would need to to complete a private placement because we work so frequently with these custodians. Very good. Uh, before we um, go on a little bit, I want to give, so if someone wants more information about what you guys are doing, some of the investment opportunities, if you give out the website, uh, that would be great. Absolutely. The website is www.realtyshares.com. And after you register there, you have access to a lot of more information about the offerings we have, FAQs, for, and uh, there, there's a wide, a wide variety of blog there. So there's a, a lot of access information there. Great. And if I'm guessing, too, if someone wants to pick up the phone or if they're, they have some questions, you guys have a great staff that's available to answer questions, obviously emails and online as well. But, um, you know, for some people, let's face it, they're, always a little bit nervous, apprehensive on what they're doing. So I'm, I'm assuming that you guys are um, answering those, those questions on a regular basis. Yes, that's my outstanding team who's there on the phone all day, every day, answering investor questions. We prefer to speak to people on the phone. We think it's a better way to explain what we're doing. We want to make sure investors really understand what they're investing in. So yes, we're available nine to five every day and oftentimes longer than that and weekends <laughs> as well. But yeah, we love speaking to investors. Very good. And where's the, where's kind of the, the appetite for this, Amy, is it nationwide or there um, isolated cities, counties, states, uh, cities that you guys see a lot more of uh, the activity or is it kind of all over the place? In terms of where the investments are or yes. where, yes, where the investments we, are, right. Sure. As of this month, actually, we've had offerings in 39 states. Wow. So it's quite a wide variety. Mm-hmm. 
That's really good. So is there, and this is this is commercial, multi-unit apartments. You might find all different types of uh, properties available if, if you're yes. online looking. I'd say that's one of our other main competitive advantages. We offer a really wide variety mm-hmm. of pr- offerings on the platform. We have commercial, residential, pretty much every asset type. We've done retail, hotel, multifamily, industrial, student housing. So if you have an appetite for pretty much anything, we're going to have an offering available for you. Very good. We have about two minutes or so left in the first segment with uh, with Amy. She is the Director of Investor Relations at Realty Shares. Kind enough to spend some time with us today and talk a little bit about the exciting platform and a lot of growth that they're experiencing and uh, the ability for the individual investor or anybody really to to take advantage of this. What are um, let's, let's say I'm brand new, Amy. I'm I'm excited. I'm I have some money to invest. Um, I go to the website or I'm looking at different options. What are some of the tips or kind of tricks or that you would pass along to the person that's listening right now that says, "Boy, this sounds interesting." So, you know, what what are some of the things I might need to know or be aware of, or how could I get started? Good question. It's really important, I think, up front, as we talked about earlier, to get on the phone and have a brief conversation with a member of the investor relations team to get to understand the platform. From there, it's a, it's good to understand how much you want to allocate. These are longer-term assets. Mm-hmm. Make sure you have a good understanding of what your near-term cash needs are. Once you've addressed those two first points, then I would say diversify. Choose a couple assets from however much you're looking to allocate on the platform. Choose five or six investments that are suitable for you and make those investments. Um, It's pretty good to, we like to see people do a product mix as well, so some debt and some equity. Uh, And it's the best way to take advantage of what we have to offer. Very good. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and keep the conversation going with Amy Kerr. She is the Director of Investor Relations at Realty Shares. We're talking about the platform, the exciting investment opportunities. When we come back, we're going to talk more about the acquisition recently for Realty Shares and maybe what the future holds in this marketplace. This is Joe Cachero with Real Estate Radio Live, the podcast series. I'll be back with you to continue in just a minute. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Hi, this is Joe Cachera of Real Estate Radio Live. Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We are your go-to resource for all aspects of real estate, including buying, selling, refinancing, building, and legal and tax advice, and much more. You can subscribe to Real Estate Radio Live podcast on iTunes and Stitcher to listen to an engaging discussion about anything and everything real estate. So make sure you get our app, RE Radio Live, in the iTunes store to follow the show. Welcome back to Real Estate Radio Live. For more information on today's topic or guests, just visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Again, your host for today's edition of Real Estate Radio Live, Joe Kuchera. Welcome back in. Joe Kuchera with Real Estate Radio Live, the podcast series. As we continue the show, I am... um, Included today, we have Amy Kerr. She's joined us. She's the Director of Investor Relations for uh, at Realty Shares. Kind enough to spend some time talking about the um, the new platform. Not so new anymore. It's been about four years now, and a lot of things are changing. If you listen to the show on a regular basis, one of the things you'll you'll probably know and and understand and and become to really realize is that we talk a lot about the evolution of real estate and how technology is changing it and the platforms out there and it's it's changing. Um, no matter what we think, how we feel, or what our philosophies are, technology is really changing the way we operate within our personal lives, business lives, investment lives. And so we like to stay on the leading edge, especially on the real estate side. So uh, we're talking with Amy Kirsch, and she's talking a little bit about the platform and the exciting stuff that's going on at Realty Shares. Amy, uh, share with us a little bit about, I saw some news, I think it was just the last couple of days, you guys made your um, first acquisition kind of in this marketplace and this space. Maybe you could 
Tell us a little bit uh, about that and what that's going to mean to the Realty Shares family and even more importantly, the, uh, the consumers that, uh, that work with you guys. Yes, we are very excited to have acquired Acquire. We made the announcement last week, as you mentioned, and the reason for the acquisition is that Acquire brings technology to the table that Realty shares where we excelled in some aspects of operations and bringing sponsors to the table. Acquire was really a leader in some of the innovations in real estate crowdfunding. Uh, we also have two of their principals joining the team, one on the technology side and the other in the uh, business development space. Mm-hmm. So the combination of the two firms, is it's really compelling for us. And we've already seen some really nice transitions mm-hmm. of their customer base and some overlapping. And it's going to be a really positive move for real estate crowdfunding as a whole and for the combined two firms. Very good. So is it uh, sounds like they had a good use of tech, the, the technology side and some of the some of the software technology tools to not only grow, expand and then help the consumer base and kind of the, the you know, the investor experience, so to speak, or just across, across the board. You're exactly right. They really had a customer centric approach to their product development. And that included creating the first real estate exchange. They had some innovations in retirement investing and they created an investment calculator. So there's, there's a lot of innovative technologies that they had implemented on their platform that we're looking to also add to the realty shares side of things. Got it. Talk a little bit, Amy, if you would. I mean, I've had this discussion and really I'm passionate about this for years. Um, you know, I've invested in real estate myself. I know hundreds and hundreds of people that have at different degrees and levels. But the kind of the difference, you know, you have this, still you have this historical um, kind of philosophy, thought, drive to invest in the stock market and be diversified. And I'm, I'm a big fan of diversification as well. But then the difference between investing in, you know, let's say the stock market, versus real estate. To some, it might be obvious, but again, what I love to do on this show is to, to make and hopefully get the message across to people that sometimes it's not so obvious and what they might be missing uh, out there. Describe to the listeners, if you would, kind of the difference and some of the benefits that people may not realize of investing in real estate, whether it's small, big, large, versus uh, kind of a traditional stock market investment. The biggest benefit that you'll have to real estate investing is the illiquidity premium that goes along with it as compared to investing in the stock market. So you're going to see, uh, there's no guarantees, of course, but outsized returns related to that illiquidity. So the, one of the, the benefit of stock market investing is if you need to get out, if you have a liquidity need, you are able to cash out that day on the market. But uh, real estate is going to be a bit of a longer term hold. Also, another major benefit is that the real estate market and the stock market don't always move in parallel. So when the stock market is on a tear, the real estate market may stay stable, Mm -hmm. whereas if the stock market is on a major decline, real estate might hold on to its value. So in in terms of diversification, I think when you're looking at an overall allocated investment portfolio, it makes sense for both because you want something that aren't necessarily moving um, together in terms of the way that they perform. Yeah. And I think the other piece is, too, honestly, especially when you do, when you invest in a platform like yours, Realty Shares, quite honestly, it's, it's, it's more straightforward and easy to understand. Let's face it, a lot of investments, whether it's a stock or a, uh, a REIT or a mutual fund or, you know, you look at some of those statements and you can't even figure out what fees are coming in or out or, and again, I understand there's different models and ways to do things. I'm not really criticizing as much as I am comparing the fact that with real estate in a transaction like this, you know, you see the investment, you understand the purchase price, you understand in some cases the down payment, who's participating, how much money I'm putting in, what kind of fees are kind of involved in that. Um, it, it doesn't don't don't you think also it's just easier for the average person to understand the money flow and kind of what's going on with real estate, or especially if it's one piece or a couple of pieces of real estate. Absolutely. And I think the fact that it's tangible, you can see it, you can touch it, that it it feels a a bit easier to understand. And that's really one of our major visions as a company is to make sure that investors and borrowers have the information that they need, that it's easy to operate, that it's easy to understand. And and that's what we're looking to to provide for people. So absolutely, that's that's a major benefit as well. 
Very good. And what is the, um, if you could share with us, uh, Amy, the, is there a minimum inv- investment? And that's the first question. And the second question is, what, is, what does one have to do? What, is there a process in which one has to go through to be a quote unquote qualified investor? May, take us through those two, two questions. Sure. The minimum investment is as low as 5,000 up to, I'd say, around 30, and it will depend on the underlying investment. It varies investment by investment, but we certainly have $5,000 opportunities all the time, which is a, is a, is an easy way for people to jump into real estate, whereas, like I said before, those ticket sizes could be $100,000 or more to get in. Um, in terms of being qualified, you do need to be an accredited investor to invest with us at this time. And an accredited investor is uh, someone who earns $200,000 a year in annual income or $300,000 with their spouse. Otherwise, they can qualify with an investment portfolio of a million dollars or more, not including their primary home. Got it. Very good. Tell us a little bit about the, you know, the the future and maybe the the, the kind of the landscape, if you will, of this investment strategy, this type of crowdfunding, this type of investments in real estate and group funding and have you, um, what do you, where do you think this is going the next two, five, seven years? And then, um, do you see anything, um, is there anything out there that you guys are working on that others may not know about? They're thinking, gee, you know, this is kind of the next thing we might see in this space, or is this going to be more of it, more education in it? I, I think we'll see a lot of changes in the space and a lot of it's going to be related to data and intelligence. And that's a lot of the advantage that we're creating here by creating a digital platform. When I think about the future and what the, what we're trying to build here, it's really a, a global stock market for real estate where people can make better and faster decisions through data. Like you said, they you can see it, you can you can review all the data, you have access. So that's what we're building here. And um, we're making investing in real estate easy and liquid. So that's that's our as liquid as we can with still creating some of that value that we've talked about before. So I think data is really going to be a real advantage in the future, and and we're going to be implementing that into how people make decisions about real estate investing. Great. And then how about Realty Share specifically? Uh, I know you guys just made the acquisition, which you're excited about. That's going to bring a more of a technical approach and a lot of tools that are going to help everybody across the board, internally, externally, consumers, everybody's going to see those benefits. Uh, any, What are the plans for Realty Shares over the next 12 to 18 months? Is it continued growth, continued um, you know, added value to, to the consumer base? Kind of what, what are the plans? It's some combination of both of that. We're certainly, especially with the acquire acquisition, to make a more customer centric approach to investing and we're and we have some really exciting product rollouts over the next quarter that I think investors are really going to like and especially from the feedback that I've been working with investors here for the last year and a half or so and and being able to implement that to what they've been requesting and that's that's huge for us and then overall growth that means expanding the kinds of offerings we're doing um, offering, perhaps we'll get to all 50 states in the next 12 months and and growing our investor base as well. So on both sides, growth is, is always a focus, but I think really focusing on the consumer is, is important to us over the next 12 to 18 months. Great. And what if you had um, a person or a group or someone said, hey, listen, this sounds great. Um, I'm a little nervous. Real estate has been run up pretty heavily in a lot of different areas and you know, the appreciation's up and I'm not, you know, across, I know, I realize that across different markets and, and states and counties, this is all very, but overall, you know, in general, I think there's a lot of upward trends in real estate and appreciation. Um, would you say it's still a good time and it's always a good time to invest in real estate just strategically and, and better and as long as you're educated? Um, or would you say there could be some dips and turns and valleys and you just be, have to be aware of that? I think that there's always strategic opportunities that you could invest in, but of course you need to be aware that there can be ups and downs in the market. And the nice thing about, especially with our equity investments, are they are longer term hold. So they have the ability to weather through some, uh, some near term market, perhaps volatility. 
but also we invest in a lot of a lot of what we're offering to investors is value add opportunities. So we think we're buying at a discount. So even if the market took a bit of a dive, there's still some built in uh, cushion there for for some appreciation. So a good thing it's good to be mindful that all of the investment and to know that there can be risks to investing. But overall, markets are uh, cyclical and, and we're aware of that as well. So even if there tends to be if there's a near term dip that over the long term, it should work itself out. Very good. All right. We're uh, just about out of time. Again, if you want more information, go to RealtyShares.com. That's RealtyShares.com. I want to thank Amy. Thank you um, for an update and a lot of exciting things going on at Realty Shares. And love to have you back maybe in a couple of months to give us an update and see, what, uh, see what's going on. I would love that. Thank you so much for having me today. All right. Take care. All the best of luck to you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Joe Kutcher with Real Estate Radio Live. Great, great interview. Amy uh, shared a lot of great information. Again, for more information, realtyshares.com. Great group of people doing some wonderful things in investing and allowing people to invest in real estate. For more information, you can go to reradiolive.com. Thanks again. Until next time, take care. You've been listening to Real Estate Radio Live. For more information on today's program, visit reradiolive.com. That's reradiolive.com. Subscribe to our podcast. Discover more at reradiolive.com.